Hi, this is Ralph Roberts, and I want to do a video tip for you on how to put together a script. This is for the new script writing section on forums.onevid.com, and I hope it helps you. Selling to Hollywood, you'll find out there are a lot of rules to follow, and, and one of them concerns the way scripts are put together and the format they're in, and so forth. Now, we won't get into format this time. This happens to be a script of mine, The uh, Farmer and the Alien, which is making the rounds in Hollywood right now. A very good script. <clears throat> so I'm putting together a lot of copies to send out as I get requests. And first of all, you make sure that you write the script in the proper format. And that, that will be another video, not this one. And then you print it out, and then you make sure you have three holes punched in it. And this, These rules you can't really get by with being creative on. You have to do it the way they want it. Uh, there are several ways you can get the three holes. You can get a three-hole punch and punch it after you print it. Or you can actually buy the paper that's pre-punched like that and print on it. It makes it a lot easier. So once you put together, you get cardstock for the cover, and you don't get fancy on the cover. I, I just uh, reproduce the first page on the cover page, uh, and it's just the title, your name, your address, your telephone number, etc., email address to contact you. So uh, use use a 110 pound cover stock, by the way. And don't, don't use real garish colors. Use black, white, uh, tan, or beige like this, and you'll be okay. Now, you've got three holes in it, but you use two brads. These are uh, equivalent to ACCO, A-C-C-O, which is a brand name. ACCO number five. Do not go to the big box stores like Office Depot or staples and, and buy brads. They, they won't be heavy duty enough. I get my brads and other supplies from writerstore.com, W-R-I-T-E-R-S-S-T-O-R-E, writerstore.com on the internet. And they're nice heavy duty brads which will hold together. Uh, again, you use only two. Yes, I know we have three holes, but the reason for this, script readers, and those are the people who usually see the, your script first. They tend to hold them like this and, and, fl and flip through them as they read them. So if there's a brad in that hole, it uh, <clears throat> messes up their hand and they don't like it and they complain. So do not put a brad in that hole, only the other two. Now, <clears throat> to make sure the brads stay on, you need washers. These are number two ACCO, A-C-C-O. And again, I get those from writerstore.com. So we open it, which is not always easy, but you can do it. If you can write a script, you can open the washer package. These are just washers that make sure the uh, brads stay on. It makes a permanent connection. You need two of them, of course, because you've got two brads. So we take the two brads and we put them through like this, top and bottom hole. As so. And we jog it again. That one didn't stay in, did it? No problem. Okay. Jogging is simply doing it like this to get it nice and even and we'll do it once more now we'll put the washers on the brads and you'll see how they work a little hole in them like that okay and now just bend your brads over don't worry about getting Paper a little crooked at this point. Very good. Now we jog it again. 
Well, it'd be nice and even. Now we're going to make it really tight. Okay. Lay it down here. Yeah, that's good enough, I think. No. Nope. Not even. Take your time and make sure you get it. Even. I've got one sheet that's a little off, I think. Let's see. I think it's this one. Nope. At this point, you can bend it back and redo it if you need to. There we go. That was a problem. No. Oh. What's wrong here? And this is this is a good example. I had that upside down. These holes are a little bit higher on one side than they are on the other. Now it lines up nicely. So that's that was a mistake, but it's it shows you how careful you have to be in doing these. Now we put the brads back in and put this one back in. Once you've done a few of these, you'll get pretty fast at it. But it is important that you do this. It may seem silly, but if you want to sell your script, let's give them what they expect to see. Now, I've been a publisher for a lot of years, and uh, we like to see manuscripts in standard format for books, but we're not nearly as particular as the Hollywood, the film industry is. Okay. So let's jog it again. Just to make sure it's nice and even. Now, we, here's the magic part. This is a little rubber hammer. I bought it, I think it was three or four dollars, also off the writer's store. Although you can get the same thing at uh, a do any dollar store usually for a dollar. <laughs> But this is a very important thing, the hammer. We're going to make sure these brads are permanently in place. We just whack them as so. And now we're complete. We got a nice, tight script ready to be made into an award-winning movie. And that's it. That's your video tip, how to put together a script to send to Hollywood. Again, number two, brass washers, ACO, A-C-C-O. Get your brads, which are equivalent to ACO number five. Get those from writerstore.com. They ought to pay me for this commercial. Another accessory, you, optional accessory you may or may not need is a good cup of coffee. I get a lot of scripts out of a good cup of coffee. Mmm. So this is Ralph Roberts at One Video Productions in Alexander, North Carolina, near Asheville. Thank you for watching.